Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today we're going to talk about size because size matters. It really, really does. Especially when we're talking about canning jars. Now I'm going to go with the U.S. equivalent. So, you know, base this on wherever you are and uh, the sizes that are available to you. But um, there are, okay, there are half gallon jars. Those are 64 ounces. The only thing those are approved for is juices and water. That's it. Um, they have quart jars, which are 32 ounces. They have pint jars, which are 16 ounces. They have pint and a half jars, which is in between. It's 24 ounces, right? Then we have our jelly jars. They have 12 ounce, 8 ounce, and 4 ounce. Now, when you're trying to decide what jar to use for whatever project you're using, um, here's how you figure out how long to can it for and whether or not you should. Because when you're doing things like meat, we're going to start off with meat. Say, let's go with ugly chicken, okay? If you're canning ugly chicken and you want to can it in 12-ounce jars or 8-ounce jars, that's fine. You can do that. Um, you have to can it for the same amount of time that you would can the next approved method size up, the next approved size that they have listed with the instructions. So in this instance, the National Center for Home Food Preservation has pint and quart jars, okay? So for an eight ounce or a 12 ounce jar of chicken, you would can it for the same as the 16 ounce pint jar. You would do 75 minutes at whatever pressure for your altitude, okay? If you want to do the pint and a half jars, which are 24 ounces, it's between the pint and the quart, then you would can it for the quart time, the next high up. That's the, the next size up you would can it for. So that would be 90 minutes at whatever elevation you're at. So you always move up like that, but it 100% totally depends on whether or not they have approved that next size up. Now, they don't have an approved method for canning 64 ounce jars of chicken. I can't even imagine, that's a lot of chicken. So you can't go above a quart jar. And the only thing above a quart jar is the 64 ounce anyway. So they don't have a tested method for that. They don't know how long it takes to penetrate that large of a jar with those contents, with the proper headspace to kill off everything that's not good for us. That is why we stop at a quart. Now when you're doing jams and jellies and things like that, it can get a little bit confusing because it has the 12, the eight and the four ounce jars. And it's, it's really pretty simple. Um, if, the directions show, and they are starting to see, I'm starting to see more directions that are showing an option for pints, but if you don't see it, don't do it. I remember one time I asked a friend, I said, you know what, I don't want strawberry jam in a in an eight ounce jar, I want it in a pint jar. And she said, well, just just pressure, or just, just can it for this amount of time. And I went, okay, and I did it. And I stared at that jar for a good solid two months before I pitched it because I didn't trust it because it wasn't approved, okay? Because there was literally no place at the time that could tell me how long I should have canned it for. And so I was seriously freaking myself out. I don't do that very often. Um, but for me, it was important. And I'm a little bummed because, you know, strawberries, hello. So if the recipe or the directions that you're following tell you that you can can the jams or jellies in pint jars, then you can go up to the 12 ounce. No issue, no harm, no foul, okay? Because you do it for that pint jar time. If it doesn't say that, then you're stuck with that eight ounce jar time, at which point you can go down, you can do a four ounce jar for the same amount as the eight ounce jar, and you're perfectly safe, but not necessarily a 16 ounce jar. It doesn't, it doesn't ladder up that way. It, it has to be the jar that you want to can in for the next approved time, the next jar up. So if you want to do 12 ounces of something and it doesn't have a pint time, you don't know how long to process it for. There's a lot of guessing games out there. They are slowly starting to come out with more jams and jellies and stuff like that in larger jars. I mean, I have read about grandma had quarts of strawberry jam and I'm like, a quart of strawberry jam would be an epic gift. Would it not? That would be amazing. Here is 
Grandma's Strawberry Jam. Here is Aunt Sue's Strawberry Jam. It's a whole quart. Like, the whole family can eat out of it. And it'll last more than one meal. That would be fantastic. But right now, they just don't have that available. So, if you're interested in doing approved canning, which is what we focus on here, okay? If you're interested in doing safe canning that's been tested, that has a methodology to, to it, um, then that is how you do it. You take the size that you want and take it up to the next approved size that they have listed in their directions. So it doesn't matter where you look, Ball, Bernardin, Kerr, National Center for Home Food Preservation, whatever. Um, if, if they have tested it for a certain jar size, then you can elevate up to that jar size as long as you use that largest jar, jar size time and pressure. I hope that this helps. It's kind of clear as mud, but it makes, it, it, it makes a difference. It's important. And so for that reason, we need to pay attention. When you're canning, be sure to take a look at the size of jars that they are giving you instructions for. That's what it comes down to. If they tell you that the highest they go is an 8-ounce jar, then that's how high they go. If it tells you a pint, then you know you can do 12-ounce or a pint. If they tell you quart, you know you can do a quart. And that makes it safe and that makes it less of a risk for you and your family. I hope that this helps you when you're trying to figure out what jars to use for what different products. And until next time, everybody, be safe. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today, we had a comment in the Facebook group. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today, we're going to talk about something I never thought I'd talk about here, but you know. Stop poking me. Stop poking me. Stop poking me.